On the medical watch, now the vaccines have arrived and the first inoculations are underway. Who's next? Those are questions we all have. WGN medical reporter Dina Baer has some answers. Healthcare workers and residents in long term facilities will get vaccinations in this first batch. Then the next target recipient needs to be people considered spreaders. Those living in environments where they cannot practice social distancing, like prisons and military barracks. Next, certain communities and essential workers. The Centers for Disease Control has a vaccine rollout plan. After phase one, which includes frontline health workers and long-term care facilities, essential workers are next in line. That includes those in the education sector, food and agriculture, utilities, police, firefighters, corrections officers, and transportation workers. Then adults with high-risk medical conditions like diabetes and heart problems, and those 65 and older. I believe that we have to look at populations that are not able to um, social isolate and mask, and we have to look at populations that don't have other options. For Northwestern Medicine professor Dr. Lori Post, that includes prisoners. The rate of COVID inside some prisons or some sections within prisons will be about 650% of that of the general population. And while those prisoners are not out spreading it into the community, the prison guards are, and they are at high risk as well too. Jail and prison inmates is just, they've been sentenced to a term or they are, you know, they are kept in, you know, while they're waiting for trial, doesn't mean that they deserve a COVID death sentence and neither do their, their guards. We will, of course, keep you updated on how to sign up and when more vaccines will be available. While today is a celebration with the initial shots arriving, the number is far inadequate to meet the needs even of those on the list for the first vaccines. Tina Bear.